When you log into a device, you have a set of folders and other settings that belong to you. In fact, I'll open File Explorer using a keyboard shortcut of Windows E, one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts, and I'm going to navigate to the C drive and then the Users folder. We see two folders here, Literazzi Admin, which is the username I am using right now, and then Public. Inside this Literazzi Admin folder, we see folders for the desktop, documents, favorites, pictures, and others. This, plus certain application data, is known as a user profile. This user profile is created for each user the first time a user is logged into a device. Specifically, this is known as a local profile. This type of profile doesn't follow one from device to device. If this were a network with a server all the users had to log on to, this could be what is known as a roaming profile, which is a profile that follows a user from device to device. Ever wonder how in a network environment you have the same desktop icons and app settings on every device you log into? That is an example of a roaming profile, and it is controlled on a server. We think this is a local profile, but let's make sure of it. I'm going to go to the control panel. And then the user accounts group and user accounts area. Then for my account, I will click configure advanced user profile properties. There is my profile and it is local. If I click change type, there is the roaming profile option, though it is grayed out right now because this computer is not connected to a domain. Speaking of roaming profiles, let's switch over to a server I have set up. And through Server Manager, navigate over to Active Directory Users and Computers, specifically Users. And I'll right click a user and click Properties. We have a Profile tab, and if I select it, we see that if we were to define a path here, we would be setting up a roaming profile for this user so that the user has a consistent desktop experience from device to device. Plus, this allows us to set the path for all those folders you saw earlier to a network drive if we so desire. Lastly, a roaming profile can be made mandatory, meaning that a user cannot make changes to it. This is at least something to consider for users using guest accounts or accounts that have very defined roles like front desk accounts or something like that. To make this happen, I would need to find the user's folder and then click View and then select the Hidden Items checkbox to display this file, ntuser.dat. If I then rename this to ntuser.man, and I can't rename the file because it's being used, so I'll cancel this, but if I were to rename this to ntuser.man, this would be a mandatory roaming profile, also known as a read-only profile.